Brought to you by Bright House Financial, established by MetLife. Well, the thought of retirement may seem very far off for most, but there's a growing number of people who are finding a way to actually be financially independent and retired at a very young age. I know it sounds great in theory, but there are definitely some sacrifices involved. And CBS Money Watch reporter Jill Harding joins me now to discuss it all. Boy, Jill, I would love to do this, let me just tell you. Yeah. But what does it mean to be financially independent? Okay, so financially independent means that you have enough income from your assets, whether that's money that you have in the stock market or maybe you have a house that's throwing off some rent money, that you don't have to work a job, that you can just live off of the income from that. I mean, it almost sounds too good to be true, but apparently you've re reported on some people who've actually managed to do it. So how did they make this work? Sure. So, and I'm talking about people who are making a regular income, maybe 70000 a 100000 a year, which is a great income, but it's not selling your company for $10 million and then taking a lump sum mm -hmm. payment. So how they do it is by saving a lot, watching their spending and investing very carefully. So what, when you say saving a lot, like what's a, is there a percentage of your salary yeah. on that? So if you're going to retire at 40, we're talking maybe up to 25 times what you would consider your pre-retirement income. To put that in context, if you're retiring at 65, you'd want to have about 10 times your pre-retirement income saved. And so especially at 40, what you need to look at is you're not going to be breaking into your 401k, right? You can't go to that until you're about 59 and a half. That's mm -hmm. when you can take without penalty. Mm -hmm. So you need to put that money into accounts that you can access early. So is there a dollar amount that you could say that you need to sort of save? If you're, if you're operating off of a $70,000 salary a year, how much do you need to be socking away? So probably 50% of your take-home pay. 50%? Yeah. I mean, this has clearly got to be people who don't have student loans or a mortgage, right? We're not how talking do... student loans or a mortgage. However, a lot of these people, what they've done is they've figured out a way to rent a room in their home or oh. they buy a multifamily unit and they rent out half of the house so that their mortgage is actually being paid by someone else. That's smart. So a creative way to make that work. Yeah. But there are apparently some financial planners who advise against retiring at 40. Why would they advise against that? So they don't necessarily advise against being financially independent uh -huh. at 40, but they say to retire at 40 without having a game plan for your next, you know, 40 years is not a great idea. Because when you think about what work is for a lot of people, it's meaning, it's socialization, it's enjoyment. And so to take that away at 40, most of them say before you do it, you should have a plan for how you're going to fill your time in oh, retirement. Interesting. I also wonder about health care. I mean, do you go work at Starbucks to get your health care plan? I mean. It's so the idea is that you'd be able to purchase your health care privately or figure, you know, which is a huge expense. It's a huge expense. Okay. Yeah. Um, so when you look at the big picture here, what are three things that you've got to do if you want to retire early at 40? OK, so you're going to need to look and budget your spending. You have to see where you're. I don't want to say wasting money, but where you can cut back. Are there subscriptions? Are you going out to eat a lot? Are there ways that you can cut back on your spending? Then you have to say, how much am I going to save? What am I willing to give up to make sure that I'm putting that money away for retirement? And then you should learn how to invest. I mean, there's a lot of great tools online. I talk about it quite a bit in my article on moneywatch.com. Things that you can do to train yourself so that whatever money you are putting away is growing for you. Why do you think more and more people are really interested in retiring early? So I think there's a lot of uncertainty going on in the political climate. You know, it's very hard to plan. And so the idea that you can put money away and maybe not worry so much about job security, whether you'll be laid off or whether the health care bill is going to affect you as much mm -hmm. because you're going to have that money growing for you and enough put away that you're going to be okay in retirement. Sounds like a great plan, a lot of sacrifice. Yeah. Uh, but could if be you can it. do it, it could be very much worth it. Okay. Jill Hardy, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Yeah. Brought to you by Bright House Financial, established by MetLife.